Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and now I'm going to show you guys how to use one pattern for all sizes. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Anita Rivers of Classic Royalty and as you guys can see from the title, I'll be showing you guys how to use one pattern for all sizes. Yes, you heard that correctly. Today I'll be showing you guys how to use one pattern for all sizes. It's very simple. So for this video, you guys will need your basic bodice pattern. If you guys do not have one, go ahead and watch my other video on how to create or how to draft or drape your basic bodice pattern and do that first and then come back and watch this video. Guys, we'll need your basic bodice pattern and I will show you guys how to use this pattern to go from a size 8, 10, 12, even 16 and this pattern right here is a size 6. It's very simple. Please get a pen and paper and pay close attention. Let's get to it guys. Okay guys, so this video is going to be very simple. So again, you will need your basic bodice pattern. And this is the front of my basic bodice pattern. The first thing we're going to do is take our basic bodice pattern and make sure that your center front is on fold. It's not on fold right now. Actually, let me see if I have enough fabric so we can put it on fold. So what I'm going to do, yes, so the pattern is a bit smaller than the fabric and that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to fold this in half so I can show you guys just the basic bodice. And again, this pattern is a size 6. I'm going to place my pattern on fold right to the edge. And the reason why I'm going to have it on fold is because once you open the fabric, you will have a whole front to a bodice. So again, my basic bodice is on fold, and you want to have a bigger size. So we're gonna go up a size, right? So we're gonna take this, and you guys will need pins. I'm gonna use my Buddha just to hold my pattern on the side. And I have my measuring tape and my scissors. So you're gonna measure down neck to waist. And let's say, for example, your neck to waist was 16, right? So you're going to go ahead, get a pen, and you're going to mark at the 16 mark, right? I'm 4'11", so my neck to waist is 14. And then let's say, for example, your waist was uh, 30. So you guys are going to go to 30, which is right here, and you're going to do it, fold your measuring tape into four, because there are four sides to an entire body you know front front and then back back which is four so you're going to take your 30 and you're going to divide that by folding this in four and then you'll have your waist i'm going to take this and i'm going to mark down the 30 which is right here now let's say my bust my bust is a 37 i'm going to measure my bust real quick and it's actually a 38. I'm gonna move this, and I'm gonna go to 38 once again, and I'm gonna take this and divide it or cut this in four, because again, there are two fronts and two backs, right? I'm gonna take my 38 measurement, and I'm gonna place it down on top of this, and see how there's like space here? There is space here. I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to mark where 38 is. So that's 38. This is my waist and this is my neck to waist. And as you guys can see, this is my measurement here. This is the measurement for the waist and this is the measurement for my neck to waist. So you are going to take your basic bodice pattern and you guys are going to just follow. Everything else is the same. So I'm gonna cut now. So my neck to waist is right here at 16. You're gonna cut across straight where your waist stops. Correct? Right where the waist stops. And then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna cut the neck. The neck is the same for your basic bodice. For those of you who are wondering why I didn't do a shoulder, the shoulders are always the same. But during consultations, you can always measure your client's shoulder. It can be shorter, it can be longer, depending on how short or tall your client is. 
And then once you guys are cutting, you will continue. You're not gonna stop here. You will continue to go all the way across to the bus, to the bus, to the to where the bus is. See? And then right here where my bus was, this is where we're gonna start cutting. And you're gonna gradually taper into the waist. See, my waist is right here. So we're gonna bring this down and go towards the waist. Just like that. So I instantly turned the size six pattern into a size eight bodice. And it is very simple. Everything from this bodice is exactly the same except for the bust, the waist, and the neck to waist. And you can use this same method if your client was a 40 bust or a 50 bust or her waist was a 35 or a 40 or when she was taller and her, her neck to waist was 18. And you do the same thing too. If your client was smaller, you will just bring your pattern in a little bit more and you'll cut off that one inch mark and your client will be smaller. And that's basically it basic bodice pattern for any size i'm going to show you guys if my bust was 40 inches i'm going to go to 40 right here and i'll take that which is 40 and i'm going to do that again by four and if my bust was 40 you'll mark right here and for example if your waist is 40 right you'll mark right here and you'll taper all the way down to 40. This will get bigger and bigger and bigger, but you will use your basic bodice as a guide to know exactly where to cut. If your bust was a 40, you'll bring your arm all the way across to here. You'll bring this all the way down to about here and go across. You do that the same thing with the basic bodice, with the sleeve, with anything. It will always extend. And this is how you can use your basic bodice. So yes, once you take this off and you take off your pens, I'm gonna show you how wide it is. And once you open it, this is what the basic bodice will, oops. Let me turn it this way. Once you open it, this is what your basic bodice will look like. It's bigger. And it can get bigger and bigger if you just follow this method. I'm gonna put this down on the table so you guys can see the difference in the size from what I cut and my basic bodice pattern. Everything's exactly the same. The neck is the same. If you guys want to change the neck, all you got to do is just bring this neck down if your client wants it. Everything's exactly the same. Don't overthink. If your client has smaller shoulders, that's fine. Continue to use and cut out your basic bodice, then take off the pattern, and then you can cut away. But always use your basic bodice as a guide. Very simple. So that is basically it for this video. I know it's very quick and because it's very simple. I don't want you guys to overthink. Once again, you guys will need uh, your basic bodice to do this video or to do any garments. And again, this video is to show you guys how to use your basic bodice, your any size basic bodice, and how you can use that for any size client. This is a size six pattern and I think I'm a size eight and I use this one pattern for size two, four, six, eight, ten, sixteen client. It is very, very simple. All you guys are doing is placing this pattern on fold. Make sure you guys have enough fabric so that you can go, so you can measure the bust, so you can measure the waist, so you can measure the neck to waist. Make sure you guys have enough fabric. Make sure you guys have your basic bodice pattern and make sure you have your client's exact measurements, okay? And make sure if the fabric is not stretched, use seam allowance, use ease. You guys, don't forget that. So you need your measurements, your ease, and your seam allowance. 
And once again, I'm gonna do it right here. You place your center front on fold. And you guys will measure the neck, measure the shoulder seam, measure the arms. And if she's bigger, you guys will mark her side, mark her waist. So when we cut this, you guys will just bring this out, extend it, go down and extend it. And if her waist and her neck to waist is longer, you guys will bring this down, bring this down, and then bring this down, and then you guys will connect it. And that will be a bigger size for any client, okay? Watch this video again. I'm pretty sure if you guys think I rushed it, watch it again, slow it down. Or if you guys have any other questions about how to do this video, if you guys want to see me do another video on the sleeve or anything else or a pair of pants on how to um, do a bigger size for using a pattern. Let me know what other videos you guys want me to do. But again, it's very simple. Please don't overthink. That is one thing designers need to stop doing is overthinking. And once again, this is a short video on how to make your basic box a bigger size. Please like this video. If you have any questions, leave it below in the comments. I will try my best. To answer all the guys' questions. If you guys want to see my work, go to Instagram at Classic Royalty, Facebook Anita Rivers, Snapchat Classic Royalty D, and once again, leave your comments below. I'm here to help you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay? And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you again next time. Bye.